Hello and welcome to the Checkpoint Reach podcast. I'm your host Luke Eldon and today I'm joined by Sud. How you doing mate? I'm alright, yeah, I'm good. Not bad. It's, uh, it's a lonely yeah. podcast this week. It is. It is. Just the two of us. <laughs> yes, we've been going down, haven't we? Because a couple of weeks ago we yeah. had Bobby Parry, special guest, and uh, there was four. And yeah. usually we have perks, so it's a three, but no, not today. Two today. Yeah, two-man team, but we'll get through it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's not just one next week. That would be disappointing, wouldn't it? Just <laughs> the one man show. Hey, plenty of people just... do do one man shows, and they do. Yeah, they do. Well. To be fair, but but we'll stick with at not least really our two. style. No, yeah. no. So. Um, but yeah, obviously we're here to discuss some more gaming news from the past week. Before we do get started, though, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts on the topics we're going to cover today. If you're listening to us on YouTube, and if you're listening to us on any audio platform, please leave us a nice review and also pass on the pod. So yeah, let's uh, jump into the first topic of the day, and that is, you're invited a look at the future of gaming on PlayStation 5. Yes, that's right, the PlayStation 5 event will be happening next week, Thursday, June 4th, 1pm Pacific time, which is 9pm UK time, I believe, so yeah, looks like we're going to get, well, there was there was, there was heavy speculation that it was actually going to happen on June 3rd, I think, so they're only one day yeah. out. And, uh, one day out, which isn't bad. No, it's not bad, and it's happening next week. So, so you're looking forward yeah, to it? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we knew, we had heavy, heavy rumours it was going to be next week, obviously. I mean, this official news kind of caught us a little bit by surprise, I guess. Like, managed to just about get there in time, I guess, with the podcast and stuff, so that's good. Um, good for us, anyway, with timing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the event. Um, like I said, I, I, expect, I expect it to be a big blowout. I think... Um, Especially with obviously the way Xbox did theirs inside Xbox, you're thinking this is probably going to be a slightly bigger event. <laughs> probably an understatement. I expect it to be much bigger, to be honest, than that event. Uh, mm. Although, having said that, like we said, I, I don't think this is in reaction to. Um, I don't think this is in reaction to that Xbox event because this will have been in the works for quite a while. I assume and demos need to be made for games, and that takes quite a while. It takes a few weeks, so. It does. I'm sure there's things that they've added in there. Maybe that they thought, oh, maybe we could add this in there because Xbox didn't do that. Or maybe we take this out because Xbox did that and it didn't work. So there's probably a few things they've altered. Mm -hmm. Um, But in general, I think they were always probably planning to do an event like this. Um, Well, yeah, you did touch um, on uh, an article like off air that we spoke about, didn't you? Um, Yeah. That said that they they failed with trying to get these events going in earlier the year because they didn't want to uh, have the the pre-recorded event, essentially. Yeah, yeah, there's an article I touched upon, uh, P- P- Push Square, which is a, a, a website we use quite a bit for, especially the PlayStation News, it's pretty good for that. Um, that said, that, uh, there was someone in that that said, one of the reports said um, basically that the event, uh, they, were, they were planning obviously other events maybe earlier in the year, but they basically scuppered them um, mm-hmm. in favour of just doing one big event, which makes sense because they said that they didn't want sort of, um, they just wanted it to be like the big developers as well, I think they said, which uh, they didn't want it to be a sort of amateur Production basically, it's yeah. kind of what they're hinting at. They, they wanted, wanted it to be like fresh, very professional cast and crew there, didn't they? Yeah, 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 absolutely, and stuff like that. So, and you know, obviously, they're saying it's probably going to be a big event, which I, I expect it is. We did also, I think it says in here actually, doesn't it? Um, in this article, it's gonna, the event's going to be just over an hour. I think mm-hmm. it says, yeah, it yeah. says uh, just over an hour. So, we're looking at what maybe like 70 minutes, 75 minutes, maybe something like that, an hour yeah, 15, probably. maybe something like that. Yeah, which is, I think is a good length. It's, uh, I agree. You know, because the Xbox event was around, I was around 45 minutes, but let's be honest, it was probably about 25, 30 minutes of actual game reveals and the rest was talking, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems I to me that... different from PlayStation. And so yeah, on. I'm not even sure there'll be... I, I, I'm going to say right now, I wouldn't be surprised if there's no talking in it. In terms of... When I say no talking, I'm sure there'll be like maybe commentary from developers over the game, mm-hmm. like we saw with the state of play. But, but there, there might be a brief intro. Like, there'll probably be a brief intro, I assume, from from some of the Sony execs, like maybe maybe half, you know, half a minute, uh, something like that, maybe a minute, something like that at the start, just to say, you know, welcome, this is the PlayStation 5, what you'll see today is what we'll expect on, you know, that sort of yeah, thing yeah. they always do. And maybe a little Short closing segment at the end, yeah, saying like, oh, we expect to see more, because I don't know, the more I t- talk, to see about this, the more I think that I, I, I'm getting more and more convinced that we might not even see the PlayStation Live. I, I'm thinking this might just be games. Well, like the CEO touched on last week, that the games are coming very soon, and here we are. Well, yeah, but the future yeah, of gaming. 
Yeah. That's the tagline. Exactly. And if you actually read this carefully, you can kind of get little hints from this. They, they don't mention the console at all mm. in terms of... They mention the console, but they don't mention seeing the hardware. They just said the game's coming to PS5. That's why I'm excited to share with you a first look at games. They don't say anything about looking at the hardware. So I'm starting to think that we might not see the hardware. At this event, still- which I think will annoy some people. It will annoy some people. Yeah, I want to see it. Um, I was actually going to touch on... I do on, as well. I do as well. I was going to yeah. touch on when you mentioned about the you know seeing the actual console itself. Well, I was going to say on the picture they've used on their Twitter account, that controller yeah. looks distinctly it's all black. black. I don't yeah, see any white. So... <laughs> Now, I wonder, is that going to be a thing where you get a choice at launch? Maybe there's two different controllers you can choose. Is there going to be two colours? But I don't know. That seems a bit weird to me because that never really happens where you get two differing colours with a console at launch. And I just think with the supply constraints we're already having, I can't see that being a thing. Really. Yeah, it's usually the same colour scheme so, throughout, isn't it? Do you think they've made a very last-minute change to the colour scheme of the controller? I don't know. I mean, did it receive a negative... Right. But, uh, no, I don't know if it was negative. It was kind of mixed, wasn't it? It was like some people didn't like it, some people liked it. I mean, I didn't like. I mean, to me, I didn't personally like it. But I must admit, I'm not too no. fussed no, usually about the color scheme think, of a controller. I think I would prefer the one color. I think, to be honest, mm. if I had to like, if someone said to me now, choose. I think I'd prefer just either an all white one or an all black one, whatever the color of the console is going to be. But it wouldn't be something where I'd go, "Oh, I'm not buying the console." Oh, the yeah, controller's yeah, exactly. like, you know, two colours. Or even if the console's two, you know, console all the controls two colours are not going to stop me. Even if I don't like the look of the console, like, even if it's as bad as, do you remember we were speculating about how bad it could look with them designs? Yeah, mate. The, yeah, yeah, but the, the tech kit, the, yeah. The dev kits were awful. Uh, like, wow. They were terrible. They were bad. They were yeah. bad. But I've got to say, even if it did look like I don't think that would put me off just because of the look of it, like, to be honest. Like, e- even if I was like, oh, I don't, it's not really nice, this console. But if it was the better console that I thought was the better one for the next gen it, it wouldn't put me off but i mean to be honest i had a gamecube back in the day and i hated the design of that yeah but um it's still a great I enjoyed console, it. It? yeah i enjoyed yeah, the console, it had a lot so. of good games on it so yeah so I, yeah i just i don't know the wording of this I, the, the first, even if you just read the first three or four progress it, it just sometimes you have to read between the lines of these things don't you and mm. i just don't think they're going to show the console yeah i think they're still going to wait for xbox to maybe show that you know show the price i think they're hoping that xbox to reveal the price of this july event yeah and maybe they're gonna go in a week's time oh yeah by the way our prices yeah because there is a state of play it uh, supposed to be in august like one of their state of plays uh for august mm-hmm. that is supposed to be more about the ps5 and the con so i'm wondering if i mean august seems a long time away though but it does i mean maybe I they'll it. reveal the console before that but then the price in august or something i want to i want to i really want to see the console and i really want to know the prices um because i've got to be honest that far out Oh, that's right. And I, I, uh, I've got to be honest with you. I want to know the price anyway because I, I want to pre-order it. Because yeah, same. These are the sort they're going to be limited. We already know with you know with with what's happened with the virus and stuff like that. We know that there's going to be shortages, isn't there? There's not going to be as many available as there would be usually. No. So you're going to want to get in there early, I think, and pre-order the console. Just so I, you've got it, you got it down, you know. I want to see the prices, yeah. F- again, for that sort of uh, yeah. that sort of reasoning, it's not yeah. too far out now. And if they do stick no. to the scheduled release date that they seem adamant they're going to, um, mm. I, yeah, I need to know so I can get ready to pre-order. Um, but we should touch on. You've mentioned a lot about the gaming, and you think it will be yeah. solely gaming. What games do you think we'll see? Um, well. <laughs> I think there's some obvious ones that I think, we'll, I think if we touch on the first party games for a start, I think obviously we'd expect probably to see Horizon. Maybe I think Horizon's probably the most likely game. Wow, well, the big sequels. I think so. I think it. I mean, I expect to see more than one. To be honest, I know, but I, 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 I'm not going to say I'd be disappointed if we only saw one. But I expect to probably say at least two out of the maybe three or four mm-hmm. sequels. Um. God of War 2, maybe not. Maybe God of War 2, I think, maybe a bit further down the line. Could be a 2022 game, I'm thinking. Maybe 2023. So I'm thinking we might not see God of War mm-hmm. this early. They might want to hold off on that, but I'd be very surprised if we didn't see Horizon probably and Spider-Man, to be honest with you, because I'm expecting both of them games to be 2021 games. So it'd I'm be a little bit strange if they didn't show them. I'm just saying now, I if, they will. if they show Spider-Man and they say a release date is 2021... I'll be buying mm. the PS5, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, you're I'm a, sold. You're 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 a bit of a fanboy with the Spider-Man. I love it. You, so for I you, love it's the game. Uh, it's amazing, and yeah, and I, it's, it's a great game. I, I just think Absolutely. 
that i mean so let's take a look horizon you say it comes out came out in 2017 right. 2017 early 2017 as well so it's been what we're we talking about, over three years now mm-hmm. so you'd expect the sequel to be well into development now yeah um we're talking i i think i don't know if you agree with this or not i i personally think horizon's probably going to be the first game out of these sequels i think it's going to be early tw- i don't think it'll be ready for launch mm-hmm. I, I i just don't think it will be i just don't think they'll have it at launch i think I want to maybe spread out anyway, to be honest, to give it its own time, yeah. Because if you release it at launch, it might get over... I mean, it's hard to say a game like Horizon get overshadowed. It probably wouldn't, but you're competing with other games, aren't you, at launch? There's going to be loads of games coming out at launch. I think they'll want it to be in its own space. So I think you're probably looking at February or March 2021. I think going off the initial release date of 2017, like you said, they would have had a sequel already in production, long into production, So I or development. I think... Yeah, it, the time does seem to match up. A good time slot yeah. would be early 2021. Um, yeah. Spider-Man came out in 2018, so that's a year good. later. Uh, yeah. Now, they definitely... like the. I think you've touched on this before on different podcasts. The base is there for Spider-Man. The, they've got a yeah, lot absolutely. of the things nailed down. I mean, like webs uh, swinging around the city, stuff like that. Combat's yeah. brilliant. So there's a, the maps, there's only like little tweaks. So there's a good chance yeah. that that could come out in 2021. I'd be shocked if it didn't come out in 2021. I've got to be honest. I, I, I the back end, yeah. absolutely shocked. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe like well, what the first one came out in September, September didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking September 2021, maybe. Uh, maybe August, maybe September. I just, I, but then part of me thinks maybe could there be a switch? Could there be a bit of a shock and we could see Spider-Man as the first game out? Bait and switch. Maybe that's mm-hmm. in March or something like that. I mean. Because I'm just thinking, like, don't get me wrong, I think both games are system sellers. I think Horizon's definitely a system seller, but Spider-Man, let's be honest, is the bigger game. Like, Horizon's going to be a great game, I've got no doubt, and it's a big game. It, mm-hmm. You know, it sold really well, but Spider-Man, I think it's the highest exclusive seller, seller isn't it? Was it like 18 million console. copies? Yeah, something ridiculous. Something between 15 and 18 million, I think, so Massive. that has been the best selling, and who knows, The Last of Us could obviously outsell it, maybe, mm-hmm. eventually, but for now, we know Spider-Man is the, it's the biggest game. I think, really? to be fair as well, so. as popular as Spider-Man is, they they yeah. they hit a sweet spot with how big the MCU oh, yeah. was. Bring it out with Spider-Man they game did, and that quality as well. The I, quality as well. I agree, but Matched the up. sales potential of the second one's just as high, I think. Oh yeah, I because really they knocked out the Especially over time. The first especially one. over time. Yeah. Like you have to, I guess maybe if they release it early, then there's not going to be as many PS5s in the wild, so maybe it would sell a bit less at launch, but it's going to sell well over time. Life cycle. It's one of them games you can pick up at any time when you're buying mm-hmm. console. You'd, you'd buy, a lot of people would buy it. So, so we yeah, I think too, Yeah, I was just going I to think, say. I think you're going in the same route as me here. We're agreeing then yeah. that God of War's the third likely one. I think God of War's probably 2022. I yeah. think it's another year out. I just think that's the sort of game that I think you brought up. Then you uh, that. Um, I think you were saying to me that it's been developed for four uh, four years. It was the, the original game was in development, wasn't it? Yeah, four years apparently, so, according to Google. Anyway. Yeah, so I think we're looking at 2022. And that's the sort of game to me that probably takes a bit longer than... Definitely than Spider-Man, anyway. Mm-hmm. I think it probably... It's just it's one of them games, I think it would just take longer because they'll have to build new worlds for that game and stuff like that. So, uh, and do new things with it. So yeah, I think 2022 for God of War. So I, 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 my prediction is I don't think we will see God of War at this event. Mm-hmm. I think we'll see Spider-Man and I think we'll see Horizon. Other games, Gran Turismo, probably a certainty. Yeah. I think racing game, they usually show racing no games in these for events. That. <laughs> no, I don't. I've got to be honest. Like, I'm not. I'm, I will probably play it because it, it's probably going to be a launch game, I assume. So it's one of those games where you go, yeah, I'll probably pick up with the console, but I'm not hyped for it. No. Um, the only not, racing game I like, it. and you might, well, no, you like Forza to be fair, but I like F1. That's the F1. Yeah, critical F1. one for yeah, me. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, so I think Gran Turismo will probably see Ratchet and Clank. I think it's probably a certainty as well. There's been a lot of rumors about that game. Like we said, it's a good game to have at launch, isn't it? Like a fam- more of a family oriented game that. Yeah. You know, well, everyone loves it, but kids and adults can play it. So kind of, it's kind of similar to Crash, isn't it? One of them yeah. games. Hit every target kind of audience, loves, so. isn't it? Have a I bit think of we'll everything for everyone. Makes sense for me to have a launch. So I think we'll see that. Um, with Insomniac as well, obviously. I mean, Insomniac are a massive... T- obviously, Sony bought them, didn't they? So they're going to be hyping them up a lot because obviously Spider-Man, they're going to show... I think they're going to show a lot from Insomniac. I think we might even... There's even rumours there might be Resistance, Resistance trilogy, like a remastering of the first mm. three games on PS3. Maybe right. for the PS5. Maybe remade. 
never played it, so... No, but they're supposed to be, you know, especially the second or third one, highly regarded games, so that'll be interesting to see, like a... You know, because it'd be new for us, I guess. We haven't really played them too much, so... True. That'd be do, interesting. Do you th- what um, third party do you think we'll see, or if any? Third party. Uh, well, we know it's not going to be Ubisoft, because we know they've got their own event, haven't they, in July. Mm-hmm. Ubisoft are doing their own thing, so we won't see Watch Dogs. I don't think we'll see Rainbow Six, the new Rainbow Six, or anything like that, or Far Cry. I think that'll be left for for Ubisoft's own event. I think Call of Duty is probably a certainty, or very, very likely. Uh, they always have a relationship, don't they, with Sony. I'm sure the market relationship hasn't changed. I'm sure they're still doing that. It's been in place for a few years. So we'll see the new Call of Duty, which will be exciting, because we've seen rumours about that, haven't we, recently with Call of Duty? Uh, yeah, we discussed it last week. Yeah, on the last week, so... Be interesting to see that. They'll probably do a lengthy gameplay of that. Yeah. Um, and it's near time, isn't it, for the new one? We're coming up yeah, very close yeah, to a new COD. Uh, possibly a new Resident Evil game. We, I think we speculated about that as well, didn't we? They're there again, more associated with PlayStation Resident Evil, so I wouldn't be shocked to see Resident well, Evil. Well, like. from the rumours, uh, Resident Evil, like the village? Was it called the village? Yeah, village, Resident Evil, like yeah. village it's meant to be called. There's been a lot of rumours. It's been a while since 7, so... Probably Resident Evil, I would imagine. I mean, there's rumours about the Silent Hill as well, isn't there? So, I mean, oh, your favourite. <laughs> could be, yeah, I know. Yeah, but we could see a big horror theme with this. There could be a lot of horror games there if you get them to in there. Um, obviously, Blue Point Games as well, which uh, rumours to be making yeah. the uh, Demon Souls remake. Um, I, I'm st- <laughs> It's probably not going to happen, but I'm still hoping. It's, imagine if it was. Imagine if they started with Metal Gear Solid One remake. Imagine oh, if they I'd started the conference that. with that. It'd be I'd like, oh, that. it'd be like, uh, you just hear like Snake at the start. Oh, it'd be so good. That would be amazing. So I I think yeah. That, that would literally be like one of them jaw dropping like wow they've killed it moments, wouldn't it? Yeah, what a start. Like I don't think it's gonna be. I've got to be honest, I don't want to disappoint you. <laughs> but the rumours are it is probably eighty to ninety percent Demon Souls, so yeah, you never I've know, maybe it. Metal Gear later down the line. Seen the yeah. rumours heavily linking into yeah. Demon Souls, so I, I'm not anticipating no. anything Metal Gear related. No. Although it would be amazing if we got something like that. It would be. It would be. <laughs> that really would be a thing but yeah i'm just looking forward to the event in general i i, I don't know about you i get the sense it is going to be an exciting event I, I i just i can't envisage them messing up really no with this not with games like you could say if it was something if they were just saying we were just showing the ps5 maybe they could mess it up because as we know sony are, are better are usually better with their games and the hardware and stuff but i think uh i think in terms of games i, I they've not really gone wrong for a while now have they with no. games so just quickly do you they're think- gonna have to double down so Yep. I know. Well, I I know you think this, but I just wanted to touch on it. Mm. You you you're pretty confident that we might see some new IPs as well. I think so. At least one. I think at least one quite big one. I I just I think as 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 you know as much as we're obviously all looking forward to the sequels mm-hmm. of these games that have been great on PS4 and some and maybe some remasters and things like that. I, I think you always want to show one something new, don't you? I think yeah. Um, yeah, I've just thought of another game. Actually, we'll probably see that Godfall game because that was heavily linked with PlayStation, wasn't it? That like it Destiny type game. I, we'll probably see that because that's meant to be a launch game. But in terms of other new IPs, yeah, I expect to see something from one of their studios. Um, there is a few studios I think we haven't maybe touched on that are, should, I assume are doing things for PS5. So yeah, I think we'll probably see something else. I'd like—I don't know about you—I'd like to see something new as well. But, yeah. Yeah, I'm always open to seeing new IPs. Give me yeah. something that grips my attention. And you know what? Yeah. I want a new sci-fi fantasy IP. Oh yeah, that would be great. That would that would yeah, be great. That's, I'm not gonna lie, that's yeah. my genre. So <laughs> I'd yeah. love to well, see mate, something I mean, in that space. Bethesda aren't usually associated with PlayStation, but that Starfield game, we've not seen anything on that for a long time. No, that's true. So I maybe that, I mean, could we see that potentially? Could Bethesda? All I hear about is Fallout 76 of them and negative stuff yeah, these no, days. That Starfield game, it sounds like the sort of game we would like, isn't it? Like a basically a, you know, a Fallout um, Elder Scrolls type game in space. I mean, it sounds amazing, to be honest, if we can get something like that. It actually does. I, but yeah. I am worried with Bethesda mm. now uh, after yeah, the not whole quite 76 as, uh, debacle. They've gone down, haven't they, in terms of their reputation? Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that one, but it, just in general to wrap it up, I, I just think it's something we can all look forward to. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. We don't have to wait long either. It's less than a week. So we'll, I'm sure we'll have, a, well, we'll have a lot to discuss on the next podcast. That's for sure. Yeah, we will. And we'll be doing so, probably a reaction video straight after the event yeah. or maybe at least the following morning. Um, that will yeah. be the aim. Yeah. But there is one game that uh, PS4 
still has to come, and that is The Last yep. of Us Part 2. So we're going to jump into that topic now. The Last of Us Part 2 state of play details revealed. Naughty Dog uh, shares a deep dive into The Last of Us 2 gameplay. I think it was around 23 minutes, something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, it was around 20 minutes. Yeah, and it was, you know, very a good chunk of gameplay for The Last of Us Part 2, and... We won't reveal any spoilers that have been knocking around, so don't worry about that. So, no. uh, what were your thoughts on what you've seen? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, first of all, it's I, I don't know if you... I, I like this format of what they do with these state of plays, where they just focus on like one game and just show it and that's it, because mm-hmm. you know what you're getting then. There's, there's no like no real disappointments then of like, oh, well, we're going to do this show for like 45 minutes, but it could be like two games, or it could be 10 games, you just don't know. It's like, Inside Xbox. I kind of <clears> like it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think most people probably know we're referring to that. <laughs> but um, and look, I, I you know I, I like the sort. I like the uh, the long sort of shows where it's like sometimes like an hour and a half long. It's fun, but you know, with with that inside Xbox in particular, it was just you just never know what you were going to get, and it was just a bit disappointing overall. But this one, to be fair, it's, it's like the Ghost of Tsushima one from uh, a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. It was nice just to see a game actually running as well, like on. Well, in this case, on a PS4, rather than just because uh, sometimes these trades are like, is that actually running a console? Is it like, is it kind of cheating a little bit? Are they running it on a high-end PC? Is it even gameplay? So it's like, it's nice to actually see. You know, you can tell watching this game that that's how it's going to look. Yeah. When you play on your PS4, whatever. So I kind of like that because even sometimes, you know, when thing, you know, when sometimes there's like things where it's like, oh, someone's foot clipped through a wall, but it's like, yeah, but that's the like at least it's real. Like at least that's the actual game. Yeah, that, that will happen. They're not from trying to hide to anything. Time. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I mean, to be fair, from what I saw of the gameplay, I will say it looks very similar to the first one, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I mean, the first one's a great game, so. They knocked out of the park with the first one. It just looks like. Yeah, it just exactly. Looks improved, so, it, doesn't it? It looks like an evolution. Like sli- not, I don't know, evolution, but it just looks like a slight improvement, doesn't it, in terms of gameplay? It looks like things are a little bit uh, maybe cleaner and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. I-, I think it looks good. I think, um, obviously, you know. You're going to be playing predominantly as Ellie, it looks like. So that's a slight change from the first one where you played, what, 95% as Joel and there was a little segment as Ellie. But it looks like this one's going to be the opposite where you play probably, you know, 99% of the time as Ellie. So um, that's a different perspective, I guess. Uh, it seems like Ellie in this one's obviously a lot more capable oh, yeah, than I in mean, uh, the first in, one. She's older. The gameplay, she was just taking out guards left, right, and center yeah, with yeah, ease. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a brutal game. Um, not one for the squeamish I don't think this one or dog uh, lovers <laughs> oh yeah yeah there's obviously that yeah. I mean we'll just get right into that I mean that, that part where the, the Molotov gets thrown at the dog it's just yeah it's hard to even watch it, isn't it? it's like ah oh, horrible horrible it for is. any dog lovers out there and uh, there's obviously parts of the gameplay where like dogs are kind of sniffing you out and chasing you down it's like oh, I don't like that so I'll be trying to I'll be trying to avoid the dogs as best as I can rather than kill them I think <laughs> yeah same so I'll be doing it might be runners. hard yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> but um, yeah. No, I, I just I, I think the game looks good. It definitely looks more open as well. Uh, it looks like they're going for the more the approach of a, li- a little bit less linear. Obviously, the game is going to be linear. It's a linear game, but it looks like it's more the worlds are more like hub. Not hub, I don't know, that's not really the way to describe it. Is it hub worlds? It's not really hub worlds, but they're definitely more open. It looks like mm-hmm. there's going to be more choice in terms of oh, you can avoid these enemies or you can kill certain enemies and then run past them, avoid some altogether. So. Yeah, um, I, I'm looking forward to the game. I think, I think it's to me, it just looks like it's going to be a quality game. I think that's yeah. one thing you expect from Naughty Dog, isn't it? You know that you're going to get a game that's definitely quality. It 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 does look really good. Um, like you mentioned, yeah. it, it looks similar to the first one, just a uh, you know more polished version, I guess, uh, with little yeah. upgrades and stuff. And which isn't it's, it's like you said, isn't a bad thing because the first one did so well. Gameplay was good, so yeah. If they've improved on that, that's good. Um, some yeah. of the takeaways from it, IGN did put out like a list of bullet points, and there, was, there is quite a lot of bullet points, so worth checking out the article. Uh, but we took out some of the bullet points that we wanted to talk about. So, The Last of Us Part Two picks up several years after the events of the first game, after they settle in the relatively peaceful settlement in Jackson, Wyoming. Ellie is 19 years old at the start of the sequel. And the game will cover expansive parts of the world, including real life locations. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, it's 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 interesting they go into slightly different places in the first one as well because 
obviously I assume there's going to be places that are similar to the first one since location but there's obviously new locations as well they mention that and it's real world locations so I'll be mm-hmm. interesting to see different parts of well it'd be America won't it so different parts of America I guess yeah um yeah, I mean, they talk about um, sort of. This, I mean, we saw in the trailers a lot of uh, like snow-capped mountains and stuff like that, isn't there? So, and uh, so it looks like that's going to be one element of the game where you kind of maybe yeah, trudging the, through the snow a lot. The seasons change as well, don't they? That's yeah, one yeah. Of the bullet points. Like the first one, wasn't it? This, I mean, the first one was set basically over a year, wasn't it? It was like <clears> spring, <throat> summer, mm-hmm. or and winter, if I remember rightly. Like you, when you get to a new part, I'd say, wouldn't it? Like, oh, winter now, or summer or spring so yeah it's Not something they've already done that. well so yeah, yeah i expected yeah, it in this sense. one just because um, a bit of variety isn't it as well but yeah it really does it's not just like oh you know games i mean we will play games something where it's like oh it's literally just snow for the whole game or like mm-hmm. just sun and it's like yeah it's kind of a bit boring that yeah it so. changes up yeah makes certain parts so. feel more you know fresh because like it's like you're going into new style of world isn't it so it is good yeah. um just touching on as well some enemies as uh, the Washington Libertarian Front is an armed group that originally fought to free Seattle from the military but have become a powerful and deadly faction in Seattle since taking control of the city another faction Ellie encounters are the Seraphites Seraphites yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it yeah I think so or Scars a religious group of Zealots yeah uh, that specialise in stealth combat and camouflage um, because of the large map size, Ellie can use the environment to her advantage or avoid combat instances altogether, which you touched on previously. But yeah, yeah. so we got to see a few of these enemies, and they yeah, too I think, much different. Um, no, although I think uh, I think the one big difference in this one with a certain type of enemy is that is the sort of religious cult, isn't it? Mm. That we didn't really see anything like that in the first game. So it seems like they're going pretty hard on that element of the game. Which is interesting, going down the sort of you know religious route of some zealots and stuff like that. I mean, it's not I've not seen this in games before, but um, I don't know. It just seems interesting because it's like post-apocalyptic world, and people always say, don't they, that this you know if this was like real life, it sounds silly to say this, but if this was like real life, like the apocalypse, like religion, religious cults like this do they say would rise, don't they? Uh, you yeah. know, a lot of say religious zealotism. Not that surprised like that. with it being in America no. as well. They're more no, probably exactly. more religious than the UK. Yeah, Weird especially one. a lot of Catholicism and stuff like that. By so. the way, call me stupid, but what does zealots mean? I think it basically just means like a very fanatic, doesn't it? Basically, like fanatics, basically. Right, it's another okay. word for it, fanatics. Like taking everything to the next level in terms of serious, you know what I mean, in terms of seriousness and things like that. So Right, okay. Um, like extreme. Extreme, basically, yeah. Like extreme. Yeah, kind of extremist, I guess you would say. So mm. they're definitely going down. I mean, uh, it's inter- It's an interesting route to go down, I guess. Um It'd be it's, de- it's definitely. I think. Uh, I think we all know, don't we? It's going to be a game that's uh, going to have a lot of controversy with th- if you put in things like that. In. There's obviously going to be a lot of controversy, I assume. Well, probably some backlash, but we get that with all games like there this. There was backlash, wasn't there, for Far Cry Five, just because of the uh, yeah, the religious scenes in that. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I imagine um, there probably will be with this. I mean, there tends to be backlash of most games these days that you know experiment or go down religious sort of themes. I actually, I don't know if you agree. I, I like it when games go down the religious route because it's quite interesting. I, I thought Far Cry Five was really interesting the way it told us, you know, the way it like um, explained sort of the religious side of it. And things like that. I, I thought that was really good. I thought it was a really good part of the game. Yeah, well, we do agree really on that, don't we? We really do yeah. like that game. So I thought it was great, Far Cry Five, especially the story. So mm-hmm. if this has got a similar type, I know it's not going to be the same exact story, obviously, but if it's got a similar type vibe with the religious cults and stuff like that. And, you know, some of the crazy stuff I'm sure they're going to do. So I, I think that'll be interesting. And obviously um, with, the, you know, everything around Ellie and what we know about her and stuff like that, that's another element, isn't it, with religious cults, I guess. It is. It is. So I guess yeah, that's going to obviously be a big part of the game as well, why they're probably going for her. It is. So. And it'll also be interesting to see how the uh, stealth and camouflage combat plays out because it, it says that yeah. they're going to be uh, specialised in it. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously... I mean, stealth is a pretty big part of The Last of Us anyway, isn't it? Like, There's a lot of times in the first one where you're stealthy and you don't always need to be stealthy. Obviously, there's always choices, but a lot of the time it's a good idea to be stealthy rather than just gung-ho, like, especially around the clickers and stuff like that in the first one. So, But it seems like uh, it's going to be maybe like the roles are reversed in this one where there's going to be enemies are going to be like, a lot stealthier than you like, at the same mm-hmm. times. 
So you're going to have to be careful with, I guess there's going to be parts where there's like tons of traps laying around and you're going to have to try and avoid them. And then you probably get like hung up by trees and stuff like this, don't you, with traps. And it's like, I can just imagine that. So mm. yeah, there's probably, it's, I, it's probably going to be, I don't know. I, I assume it's going to, there's going to be tough parts of the game, to be honest. Um, was the last like one the first tough? One. Because I should mention that I've only I didn't have a PlayStation at the time, so I watched. No, you watched essentially it, on you? YouTube. Yeah, so um, I don't really know if it was. Well, a hard I played game it on or. normal, and it, I wouldn't say it was like oh, it's not. It's not one of them games where you're going to be like tearing your hair out, sort of difficult. But there was definitely times where it's like oh, I've died a few times. You know, I need to think about what I'm doing here, or I'm yeah. just running in. Or so I'd say if you play it on normal, it's just a fair experience. I'd say it's definitely tough if you play it on anything harder. I would say some people might disagree that great at the game, but. Um, I'd say my skills are like game are probably average, so I think normal's probably. I mean, I'll probably the, the second one I'll probably play on normal. I think yeah. it just seems like where I'd go. So I think easy. I, I think I remember playing a little bit on it easy, and I was like, "That's yeah, a bit too easy," to be honest with you. So definitely, a tr- a, you know, a tricky game, but I just think it's it's going to be a fun game to be fair. And I think everything that I hear about it, in terms of like the enemies and the environments, and it just sounds interesting. It sounds like it'll be interesting. So it does. It does, and speaking of everything you hear about, uh, as long as you're able to stay away from the spoilers, anyway, that is. Yeah, I mean, well, unfortunately, we've I think we've both had a, some things ruined for us, haven't we? Yeah, um, I, I pretty much had it all ruined for me. Um, yeah, which is. But I will, I like I said before, it's no non-spoilers, no spoilers, so I will not be no, mentioning we're not gonna, it. No, we're not going to say anything, obviously. Yeah. But it is a shame, isn't it? The whole what's happened with the. I think it's just a shame the whole situation around the game that's been spoiled because, like. You know, it's one thing people getting spoiled and saying, oh, I like this or I don't like this or whatever, but you, you, you should be able to let people make their own judgments when they play the game rather than just spoiling it for everyone, mm. to be honest. Yeah, because even know. this gameplay video for me, yeah, as much as I like the look of it, and I thought it, it, mm. it does look a you know, great game to play, just knowing certain elements of it, I was just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's annoying because you're kind of like, well, I'm not going to get... Yeah, it's, I don't yeah. want to say too much, obviously I'm not going to spoil it, but... It's like, yeah, it is annoying from that point of view because it's like, just... Yeah. Like, even if it's like whether you like what you heard or not, it's like, it's just still ruined. Even if you loved it or didn't like it, it's, either way, you've, you've been ruined, haven't you? And it's like, eh. Pretty confusing a lot of goes, people but... didn't like it. <laughs> no, I mean... <laughs> from the reaction. The common yeah. thing. I mean, I'm not going to get into it at all, but that is, seems to be the thing. But I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm keeping up with minded about the game, to be honest, because... Uh, there's been things in the past. I remember it's like um, might be slightly different, but Resident Evil Three that came out recently. I remember like hearing like, "Oh, the game's rubbish. It's no good. It's nowhere near as good as two and all that." And I played it. And I was like, "I don't see what the problem is. The game's fun. Like it's good. Like biggest... it's not as good as Resident Evil Two, but it's still a very good game." Like I, it's, I don't know. People tend to overreact sometimes. I think to these things. Yeah, they can do that. That's for sure. But I will say, from what I read, I agree with them. But anyway, hmm. just touching on Resident Evil, I think it wasn't one of the main. Uh, complaints was the how short the story was or how short the game was even yeah that was the main problem but there was also people saying it was no good and it's like eh, I don't know it's like, to me it wasn't like it wasn't as good as 2 no doubt 2 is definitely the better game but that doesn't mean this one's like it's like <laughs> I'm trying to think of an analogy it's like, you know, like your favourite ever chocolate bar <laughs> and eating that and going oh that was delicious but then you have like I don't know a normal like a, a normal chocolate bar it's still tasty isn't it it's still nice it's just not as nice as your favourite chocolate bar <laughs> you know uh, yeah yeah no, but it's like that that's the one way to I'd use it. with that, you know. So now I'm not saying this is going to happen with Last of Us Two. A completely different scenario with Last of Us One and Two, like obviously to Resident Evil Two, and you know Last of Us Two could be better than One or whatever. We don't know, but whether it is or not, I still think I'm going to enjoy the game. So, I, you know, it's it's just one of them that I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, I have seen some things with the spoilers, and it's like that's annoying. Obviously, I didn't want to see anything really, but I have unfortunately. It's Probably most people listening have seen something on it because it's it's very hard to avoid it. Let's be honest. And like when you look on Twitter, and it's it's very difficult, and it's it avoid it. It is like even in non-related things, it's like you're getting spoiled. It's like this is stupid. But <laughs> I mean, it's nearly it's not as bad, but it's it's nearly like as bad as when the um the last Avengers film was coming out or the last two Avengers yeah. films are coming got, out and got... every re- every reply to anything on social media was a spoiler from those films <laughs> and yeah. it's just like why yeah or Game of Thrones of course as oh, well yeah, famous of course, yeah. spoiler and that wasn't from end of series 5 I think everyone ruined it for everyone but um, yeah I mean this happens with popular things I guess doesn't it but I, like, I'm still I mean the game comes out in what like three weeks or something so it's not going to be long till we get to 
try out and see anyway. So I'm still looking forward to playing it. I think as well, not only that, but the fact that that Ghost of Shima game comes out like a month later, it's like, it's a really good, if you, if you're a PlayStation fan, I think it's a great time. You've got two really good looking games coming out in this space like a month. So yeah, once again, PlayStation yeah. are uh, on course to, to do very well yeah, do out well. of this. Yeah, um, think- but that does bring an end to the podcast for this week. So thanks for listening as always. And if you are listening to us on YouTube, please like subscribe and comment with your thoughts on the topics we covered today. Uh, what do you expect to see at a, the playstation 5 event next week um you can oh and if you are listening to on audio platforms i should say please leave us a nice review and also pass on the pod and if you want to follow the podcast on social media you can do on twitter instagram and facebook at check reach pod links will be in the description below you can also follow sud on social media where can people find you sud so it's just on twitter for me at david tenspot lovely stuff and you can follow me on twitter and instagram at leld l-e-l three d's at a nine the m for instagram Anyway, thanks for joining me as ever, Sud, and uh, we'll be back Sorry. next week to discuss some more gaming news. Bye, guys. Bye bye.